this March break. It's been long. It's been a while. I haven't seen you. How are you doing? Are you still enjoying your days? Yeah, are you still finding fun things to do? I wish I could hear all about them. I've been really wrestling with how to transfer what we do in our music class into distance learning. In our music class, everything we're doing is together. We sit together, we sing together, we play instruments together, we watch videos and talk about them together. It's all about being together. And I really have been struggling to figure out uh, what to do for you or with you in this situation. And you know that we don't do a whole lot of research and writing things down in our music class. And I didn't want to throw research projects at you or writing projects because I know you have enough other stuff to do. So I'm not going to give you work that you wouldn't be doing if you were with me in class because we would be playing music together. So I've been trying to answer this question of what am I supposed to be doing to teach you music? And I've had a hard time coming up with an answer and so I've stepped back and I've changed the question to something that I think I can answer, which is what can I teach you? What is it I would want to give you? What wisdom or learning do I want to give you even if we were together? What's the most important thing that I want you to learn in my classroom? Think about it. Okay, okay. I'm looking for a quiet hand. What's the most important thing? Yes. Is it to learn to sing songs? That's part of it. But that's not the most important thing. Quiet hands, quiet hands. Yes. Is it to read notes? Well, that's part of it. But that's not the most important thing. Is it to play the clarinet good? Mm, that's uh, part of it. But that's not the most important thing. These are great things. But the most important thing, the biggest idea that I want you to take with you, that I want to practice in music, this is at the heart of leading a full and happy life. This is something so important that I want you to take it with you when you leave my room. I want you to think about it all the time. It's so important in my life, and that's why it's at the center of my music program. Two words. Be kind. That's it. That is the key to unlocking your future. Be kind. Be a good listener. Be patient. Be a good friend. Take care of yourself. Look for ways to help others. Be kind to the earth. What does this have to do with music? Everything! Remember back at the beginning of the video? Everything we do in music is about doing things together. Being kind makes you a great collaborator. It makes you a great teammate. It makes you someone that people would choose to spend time with. People will want to be around you. In all of my experience, working with bands, working with musicians, working in theater, this is like the secret. This is the secret and we talk about it sometimes. If you know the secret and you're on the inside. The person that gets hired or chosen for this spot it's not always the person who's the most skilled or who has the most experience. Hi, Mr. Hopkins. Thanks for hiring me. The person that gets picked is someone that is enjoyable to be around and enjoyable to work with. When the team is presented with a big problem, do you give up easily or do you see it as a challenge? Find the solution. Find a way to solve this puzzle. Here's another example. 
when you are so tired, but there is still work to do? Do you whine and complain and mope? Or do you use your sense of humor? Find a way to enjoy this hard work. Find, be silly, make a joke. Find a way to get the work done and laugh about it. Enjoy the opportunities that you have. The, the work will get done. You will move on. You will not always have to do that job. So find a way to smile through it. Here's one more example. If someone on your team drives you crazy, do you talk badly about them behind their back? Do you complain about them to other people? Or take some space from that person and think about what's something that I have in common with that person? When I see them the next time, what's something that we could talk about that would create some sort of a common ground? Maybe I could get to know them better. Maybe they could get to know me better. And maybe we could find a way to be less annoyed by each other. I don't know. And if there's something specific that they're doing to you, is there a way that you can talk to them about that instead of talking to other people about that? Those are all examples from my life. I've caught myself doing those things. I've caught myself gossiping about people. And I can think of one time where I was talking about badly about my boss to a coworker and the coworker was also talking badly about the boss. But then that coworker went and told my boss what I said and my boss came and confronted me and I felt terrible. And I decided that this is not the kind of person that I want to be. I also felt really betrayed by that coworker. How could they talk badly about the person but then rat me out? But anyways, I have to hold myself accountable and I didn't want to be that person. So I work really hard to try to not talk poorly about teammates or about anyone, especially behind their back. So this is what I want you to think about today, tomorrow, every day, especially the hard days. Be kind to yourself first and foremost. Be kind to other people, the people you share a house with, the people you share a planet with. Uh, Mr. Corybo, what does this have to do with music? I think this is like the foundation of having a good life, but also of being able to work together with people, whether it's in music or in anything. Be someone that you enjoy being around and be the kind of person that you would want to be around. This is the first and most important thing I would want to teach you. Be kind. Does that make sense? Until next time.